Okay, here we've got our knees over toes squat, or KOT squat, also known as a sissy squat. Um, what we've got is we've built up a little bit of a platform here. This is where you sort of start up nice and high as a beginner level. We've got our platform with a couple of weight plates. The higher you go, the easier it is. So we'll demonstrate that and then we'll slowly take it down and show you a little bit more advanced. We just put a mat down because your knees do go down and touch this. Um, if it's a hard surface, you know, you may bang your knee into it or something like that. We don't really want that. So uh, we're going to stand here up right up on our tippy toes and we're trying to stay a nice straight line from our knee, hip, shoulder, leaning back, and as you can see, touching, getting all this angle with our upper body. And then we push back up. Good. Now we normally don't pause so long down the bottom, but we're just doing that so that we can show you the shape that we want to create with our body. As you can see, you're leaning way back, bringing our shoulders back behind our heels, and then coming back up. So what you imagine it to is if there's a dotted line drawn straight down the middle of your body, half your weight has to be in front, half out the back. Now when you bend forward, half that weight comes here. You've got to counterbalance by taking your chest back and balancing and coming up. Now this is quite big for the quads. It also opens up our hip, hip flexors. We get a lot of big toe and calf work in here as well. Just a bit of a bonus sort of thing. Um, ties in with a couple of our other exercises. Um, as we go, we drop down weight. And height. We get a touch. And we can come back up. We can also... Try to balance it a little bit more. We want to try to keep nice and balanced. Touch and come. Get a bit of a rhythm going through. There. That's those.